Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Heidi Scott, and today I am DIY dreaming about more 4th of July ideas, specifically about how you can turn some plain baseballs into some 4th of July baseballs. I don't know about you, but um, when I think about 4th of July, I think about baseball and apple pie. So today I'm gonna take you through the steps to turn a plain baseball into a baseball worthy of the 4th of July. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a super easy way. So we had a whole bucket of these baseballs in our basement with um, Adidas, Official League, synthetic cover, cork rubber cover, official size weight, and then it says China, dang. And then my husband unfortunately labeled all of them with my son's initials. But that's okay, because I'm gonna show you how you can turn a baseball, even an old Jecky one, into something really cute to decorate with for the 4th of July. So to start out with, um, what I did is I took some uh, navy blue paint, and today I'm using this awesome paint from a maker studio. It's called Summer Nights and it's Rescue Restore paint. It can go on just about any kind of surface and it provides really good coverage. And I have mine in my FIFO bottle because it makes it super easy to get it out. So I just squeezed a bunch of the blue paint onto my paper plate, which is what I like to paint from, took a brush and quickly went over this area that says Official League and that had my son's initials on it in navy blue. Um, I touched up just a couple little areas after it was dry. So this has two coats of blue paint on it. The next thing I did is I, um, I painted some red stripes. Let's show you on a plainer one. Some red stripes on the other part. And for that, I, this looks like ketchup, but it's also a Maker Studio um, Rescue Restore paint and this color is a really fun red. It's called Pick a Pepper and so I just squeezed some Pick a Pepper on my plate, took a paintbrush and did these long stripes on the side of the baseball and I did um, do two coats so that it was you know thick and so that it wasn't opaque and then I took some white paint this is also a Maker Studio paint, but you could use whatever you have. Um, it is part of the Rescue Restore line and it's called Blessed. And with that, I touched up the places. Like for sure, I didn't want this label here that says China poking out. So I just touched that up, okay? And then I moved to the next step, which is to add the stars. So. It, in my opinion, I would have a little dish of five of these baseballs sitting out on my coffee table, either three, five, or seven. You always want to go in odd numbers. And I would probably have a mix of some that are just the red and white stripes with the blue and some that have stars. And I want to show you how to do the stars. And then I want to show you a whole other idea. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze out a little, sorry about that. <laughs> A little bit of this um, Rescue Restore paint in white and it's called Blessed. I'll put my glasses on so I can see. And I had some of these makeup brushes um, that have a really little tip on them and I found that these were easier to do the stars with. But I just want to assure you that the stars do not have to be perfect. Okay, so don't um, if you do a star and you end up not liking it, don't fuss about it too much because really it doesn't have to be a perfect star. Okay, so to do a star, you're gonna do two little down things. It's like a, a V upside down. Go up and a little bit. And then you're gonna go across the middle part of it like that. And then you're just sort of going to fill it in, going back to the bottom point. And there you go. You have a star. Easy peasy. Um, you can also probably do a second coat 
over any areas that you goofed on your baseball with the red paint or, but honestly, don't, your lines don't have to be perfectly straight or perfectly, you know, the same distance apart to look great. Okay, so then I thought, well, huh, it would be interesting to see what this baseball looked like if it looked like it was sort of distressed or aged, like an old baseball. So this is the very same baseball as this one, except the last step that I did with this is I took some of this um, stain, this gel stain from a maker studio, and it's called Hazel Mahogany. Sorry, my can is messy. I am a very messy DIY crafter. Anyways, and I took a paper towel and I just dipped it in there and I rubbed it all over the ball, pretty thick, and then I took a clean paper towel and I just wiped it off. And what I really like about the darker baseball is that this dark gel stain got into the little stitching looking part and it really gives it some definition. So then I thought, hmm, I wonder what it would be like if I did something besides just stars and stripes. And so on this baseball, I did the blue and then I did a solid red and then I just did blue dots. So I'll hold them up together so you can see the difference. It's completely up to you what like you look, uh, or what look you like, sorry, blah. Um, but I will um, share the links for the products that I use to create these baseballs. And uh, before I jump off, I wanna show you some of the other awesome 4th of July projects that I've been working on, and I have a few more up my sleeve. There's some things right behind me that I'll be talking about on my next video, so um, be sure to catch that. So just recently I showed these adorable little silverware pouches that you can make using red and blue for your 4th of July table. Um, you can put a bandana inside of them or a paper napkin. You can use regular silverware or you could use plastic flatware. And um, these I made using red and blue, so they sort of give you the feel of the 4th of July, but you're not locked in, especially with this llama. What does a llama have to do with 4th of July? Absolutely nothing, except that he's a blue llama and he has a red saddle. Anyway, so I, um, instead of having things that say, happy 4th of July, I would much rather have something that just sort of gives a hint to 4th of July by using the colors um, or maybe an idea of a flag, which I'll tell you about in just a second. And then I can use it all summer long and really all year long too if I want. Um, also, I did it, just did another video recently that I hope you'll check out where I showed how to make this flag rag sign. This is just a piece of stretched canvas painted with this same blue color, this Rescue Restore paint in this color called Summer Nights. I used an awesome anchor stencil, some white chalk art, and then I tore up some strips of these little napkins that I had and this red bandana, hot glued them on the back, and I think it turned out pretty cute. Then on another video that I have just recently recorded, which I hope you'll check that out too, I showed how to make these cute little 4th of July dish towels. Super easy. Um, using this product called Gel Art Ink and a stencil. Uh, those pro products were from a maker studio as well, so you can check that out. And this one says, Home is Where the Heart Is. It's in red and blue. And then I did these cute little corners. So this would make a great little hostess gift if somebody was entertaining you for 4th of July or just to have out when you're doing your 4th of July dishes. And you can use it all year long. So anyways, I hope that you've gotten some good ideas that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll take time to check out all the other how-to videos um, I have posted on my YouTube channel. I have quite a few. Um, if you haven't seen my secret sauce or reverse secret sauce, you need to check those out. And um, if I can help you with anything, if you have questions or want ideas for projects, please don't hesitate to let me know. So until next time, thanks for watching.